I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about vitamin B5, or pantothenic acid, as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Now, vitamin B5, or pantothenic acid, is one of eight water-soluble B vitamins that are absolutely vital to the highly optimized brain, and is essential to all forms of life. Vitamin B5 is found in every cell in your body, including your brain. The name pantothenic is derived from the Greek word pantothen, meaning from everywhere, reflecting the idea that small amounts of pantothenic acid can be found in nearly every food. Now, foods rich in uh, pantothenic acid include animal organs like liver and kidneys, fish, uh, shellfish, milk products, eggs, avocados, legumes, mushrooms, and sweet potatoes. Avocados contain the highest amount of pantothenic acid among the most commonly consumed foods with uh, one avocado containing about two milligrams. Pantothenic acid is a precursor in the biosynthesis of coenzyme A. CoA is an essential enzyme for a variety of chemical reactions that sustain life. CoA as acetyl-CoA is required for generating energy from fat, carbohydrates, and proteins. This energy in the form of glucose is the fuel source for each cell. Acetyl-CoA is involved in the citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle in the synthesis of essential fats, cholesterol, steroid hormones, vitamins A and D, and the neurotransmitters acetylcholine and serotonin. Coenzyme A derivatives are also required for the synthesis of melatonin, which controls your circadian rhythm and sleep-awake cycle, and for the metabolism of drugs and toxins in your liver. And just a note here to keep you hooked on this video, as a nootropic, vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is crucial for converting the choline in your nootropic stack into acetylcholine. Without adequate levels of B5, you will not experience the benefits of using precursors to acetylcholine like alpha-GPC or CDP-choline. Well, first, vitamin B5 increases energy. Pantothenic acid is an essential coenzyme involved in mitochondrial aerobic respiration. Vitamin B5's role in the citric acid cycle, or the Krebs cycle, an electron transport chain helps convert nutrients from food into energy, which is used to make adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. ATP is the source within each one of your cells. Pantothenic acid takes part in the synthesis of acetyl-CoA, which is at the heart of the Krebs cycle. Acetyl-CoA in your brain is also involved in the synthesis of cholesterol, amino acids, phospholipids, and fatty acids. CoA is also involved in the synthesis of the neurotransmitters acetylcholine, serotonin, and the steroid hormones. User reviews of those supplementing with pantothenic acid claim, that ha the claim having more energy. This boost in energy comes from this long series of events stemming from pantothenic acid. And second, vitamin B5 helps reduce stress. Pantothenic acid is often referred to as the anti-stress vitamin. Your adrenal glands use CoA, which is made partly from pantothenic acid, along with cholesterol and vitamin C to manufacture cortisol and epinephrine. When cortisol levels are low, your ability to cope and respond to stress is compromised. And if your cortisol levels are abnormally high, which is a very common problem, your body's reserve of pant or pantothene, the active form of pantothenic acid, needs to be replenished in order to sustain good or adrenal function. Vitamin B5 has a reputation for reducing stress, anxiety, and depression. When you take vitamin B5 as a supplement, it is converted to pantothene. Pantothene is a more stable disulfide or double bonded form of pantothenic acid. It is this active form of pantothenic acid that is converted into the enzyme coenzyme A. CoA plays a critical role in metabolism and breakdown of the three essential micronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. CoA is a cofactor in more than 70 
enzymatic pathways, including amino acid catabolism, acetylcholine synthesis, carbohydrate metabolism, fatty acid oxidation, heme synthesis, pyruvate degradation, and in phase two, detox acetylation. CoA is also involved in the initial steps of cholesterol synthesis and all of the downstream metabolites of cholesterol, including steroids, vitamin D, and bile acid. CoA helps break down the carbon skeleton of amino acids, which are metabolized to pyruvate and enter the Krebs cycle. This cycle is crucial to ATP synthesis, which fuels your mitochondria. CoA directs acetyl groups to form ubiquinone, or CoQ10, squalene, and cholesterol. You also need CoA for the transport of long-chain fatty acids into mitochondria where fats are converted into energy. The bottom line is CoA is behind the production of hemoglobin, bile, sex, and adrenal hormones, which are steroids, cholesterol, and the neurotransmitters acetylcholine and serotonin in your brain. Vitamin B5 is water soluble and has been shown to improve mood, energy, and cognition. Neurohackers who supplement with pantothenic acid report being wonderfully optimistic, energetic, and mental, mentally sharp. Now, people report that vitamin B5 helps them focus better. They feel a profound increase in energy and concentration improves. Many people dealing with acne find that their skin looks great. Acne is clear, cleared within a few days to a few weeks of supplementing with panathenic acid. And men and women find that supplementing with vitamin B5 helps prevent hair loss, and if taken early enough, may even help to avoid hair turning prematurely gray. And some neurohackers report that panathenic acid helps improve vision and hearing. Now, if you want to see more in-depth clinical studies on vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for vitamin B5. I've got a study on there that shows how pantothenic acid reduces acne. I've got another study on how vitamin B5 or pantothene is used to decrease LDL cholesterol, which is bad cholesterol. And I've got another study on how vitamin B5 increases longevity. That's over on nootropicsexpert.com. Search for vitamin B5. If you are using an acetylcholine precursor like alpha-GPC or CDP-choline in your nootropic stack, you should be using vitamin B5 because B5 is needed to make coenzyme A. CoA and choline are needed to synthesize acetylcholine. The recommended dosage of vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is a 2 to 1 or a 1 to 2 ratio with a choline supplement. For example, 250 milligrams of vitamin B5 with 500 milligrams of CDP choline. If you don't get enough vitamin B5, you may not notice a significant improvements when supplementing with your preferred choline source. And if you've added choline to your racetam stack and you still get a choline headache, it's likely because you don't have adequate vitamin B5 in your system. Now, pantothenic acid or pantothene is generally well tolerated in doses up to 1,200 milligrams a day. Some neurohackers report doses above 1,000 milligrams can induce uh, gastrointestinal side effects like nausea or heartburn. Oral contraceptives like birth control pills containing estrogen and, and progestin may increase the requirement for additional pantothenic acid. And the use of pantothenic acid in combination with cholesterol-lowering drugs like statins or with niacin may produce additive effects in blood lipids. So be careful because you could lower LDL cholesterol to unhealthy levels. Vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is non-toxic, so is well considered well-tolerated and safe. Side effects are rare, but very high doses can include stomach upset, nausea, and diarrhea. Now, if you are taking an antibiotic tetracycline, you should avoid using um, extra vitamin B5 because it could negate the effects of tetracycline. 
And if you are on a cholinesterase inhibitor used for treating Alzheimer's, you should not be using vitamin B5. When choosing a vitamin B5 supplement, your basic choice is between pantothene or pantothenic acid. Pantothene is by far the more active choice when it comes to producing CoA, and this is backed up by many clinical trials. Now, researchers have pointed out that pantothene creates twice as much CoA compared to panth pantothenic acid. However, pantothenic acid does have its benefits. It enhances adrenal function and modulates inflammation. So if you can find it, find a supplement that contains both pantothenic acid and pantothene. Vitamin B5 supplement labels will show pantothenic acid as calcium or sodium D-pantothenate, which is used for treating stress, migraines, and allergies. And pantothene is mainly recommended for lowering blood cholesterol levels, and pantothene is better for stacking with a choline supplement because it creates more CoA than other forms of pantothenic acid. Pantothenol is a stable alcohol analog of vitamin B5, which can be rapidly converted into pantothenic acid by humans. So my nootropics expert recommendation for vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is up to 1,000 milligrams a day. And that's my report on vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for vitamin B5. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. And if you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting out new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.